Hey, welcome to a new and special part of my apartment that I don't... Oh, I'm super backlit over there. That I don't think you've ever seen before. This is my tiny, itty-bitty kitchen. There totally isn't enough room in here for me or anyone else who lives here and any other person. But I am making dinner tonight. As is pretty normal. But tonight, I am making... Veggie burgers. Because I am a vegetarian now. It's kind of weird. We have the Radicals podcast, uh, which will go up in about a week. Maybe two. Uh, and I got to thinking about caring about stuff and not caring about stuff. And I realized that the only reason I, I still ate meat was because I was lazy. And I didn't really have a good way of planning out food or figuring out what the hell I was going to buy for groceries or things like that. So, I did some research, and uh, now I'm a veg head. I make vegetarian chili instead of regular chili, and I have a lovely salad, and I'm slowly learning more recipes. I'm also learning that all kinds of people I know are secretly vegetarians. Also, also, don't pop lentils. Lentils are not popping food. Lentils are the secret magic food that vegetarians turn into deliciousness. They're like the vegetarian version of bacon. Um, you might be familiar with them. Apparently you can also mix lentils and bacon, I guess, if you're not a vegetarian. But, yeah, lentils, do not they're not popping food, though. Popcorn, don't do not pop lentils. I don't want to get too much into the, into the why of it. Uh, it is for ethical reasons, but also for environmental reasons, and also because, really, the, the argument for eating meat is that animals are yummy, which they are. They are delicious. But, I mean, the fact that I like something is not always a good reason for doing it, especially when there are good reasons not to. Uh, we'll get more into that on Content Crucible, I think. This is not really the space for it. But I'm still exploring vegetarian stuff, and I'm still looking for veggie burgers. I bought these veggie burgers. I bought these veggie burgers at a local grocery store, because I realized that it's summer. I love burgers. I don't eat very many of them, but man, I like burgers. Yeah, product placement. I, I got paid absolutely nothing for this, and these are the only veggie burgers my local grocery store had. Um, but I was like, you know, if you go to barbecues or go to places or things like that, and you're a vegetarian, it helps to sort of bring a thing that you can eat so that at least there's something there that you can eat. So I was like, I better find a brand of veggie burgers that I like. These ones are okay. I don't really have anything to compare them to, though, so we'll see. I mean, really, it doesn't. I don't think it matters that much. These ones are, these ones are soy based, but I know there's chickpea ones. Oh, 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 oh! Other things I discovered. You may be familiar with shawarma. Shawarma is uh, super delicious, and uh, because shawarma is so delicious, I had never ever before discovered falafel, and I have now, and it's amazing. So really, I guess what I'm saying is I'm sitting in my kitchen making dinner. And uh, if you are a super pro-vegetarian, I could almost certainly use your help. I have been a vegetarian for uh, just a little over a week now. And I am good at it in the sense that I haven't been eating meat and I haven't died. And I have sort of a plan not to die. But beyond that, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to make yummy food. I don't want to follow tips like stargaze or get in touch with nature. I like concrete and Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I just... Just don't.